Hey there, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So on today's video, I want to talk to you about something that I really hadn't been doing very often until just recently started doing it again, and that is thrifting. Uh, the reason that I've been doing more thrifting is one, I go and I look for my textbooks. Textbook season just happened. And so I'll look for textbooks at thrift stores. And then also um, my daughter was just like, Dad, why are we not going to thrift stores anymore? So I decided to go to thrift stores and you know, when I'm doing textbooks, I really kind of try to zone in on them. Um, I know I did another video where I talk about some of the games and stuff that I found at thrift stores while I was doing that. But other times when I'm not there for the textbooks, I'll actually just go and look around because if she wants to go, it's kind of like I try not to look too much at stuff that I know can just like, like if I go to the book section, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to be there for a while. But if I'm there and I'm uh, just kind of looking around, I kind of have an idea to know what to look for while I'm there. So every single time I've gone there, I have like left with stuff that I have or with stuff that's worth something. Now, I'm going to show you some bolos today, so stick around and I'll be showing you as I go along what they're worth, what I paid for, etc. But as you may know, um, how I got started in FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, I send my products to Amazon's warehouse and as they sell, Amazon ships them out to the customers, deals with the customer service. But when I got started with FBA, I was figuring out that you could find like personal development stuff like books at um, different thrift stores or different places and people didn't really have value for those. And on Amazon they were worth like a lot, like if I wanted to go and buy something on Amazon it was going to cost me a pretty penny. Well now when I go to thrift stores I'm always still looking for that kind of stuff, especially if it's still in the plastic just because, I mean, that's brand new, it's never been opened. Like a lot of people get these personal development courses, books, um, audio books, all this stuff, and they don't look at them. So the other day my daughter wants to go, and I find this Power Talk CD set by Anthony Robbins. It's unopened, it's brand new, and, uh, and I got it for myself actually. I'm not going to sell this, but this cost me, let me see here, oh yeah, it was, uh, it was $2.99 that the lady charged me for it. Now this does not have a barcode, so I want to show you, if you haven't seen it already, there is an app right kind of in the middle there called Flow. Can you see that? The Flow app. Now what Flow does is you push Flow and then it takes a picture, let's see here, of what we're looking at here. So it'll look at the Anthony Robbins, sorry, the lighting is bad, so, oh, one sec. Okay, so that didn't work good because of the lighting. So, let me do this so I'm in good lighting here. Okay, so this is the screen that came up and as you can see that's the correct thing. So I will click on that and you can buy it used from $24.98 but this is new. Now again, I'm going to keep this for myself but the first FBA person on here for, let's see, new $49.99 and I got this for $2.99. Made him $4.99, but I'm pretty sure it was $2.99. So either way, $49.99. The used like new FBA guy is going $59.95. So um, I know that with this type of stuff, you can really make your money on it. People are, like I said, on Amazon, they're looking for that kind of stuff. So they're spending their money on it. And something like that, that's a quick, like, grab it and, and head out. Um, another thing that I got on the same trip there, this game, brand new, Wits and Wagers, again, at the thrift store. Um, it's got an $8.99 on the front of it, but it, it was on discount, and so I got it for about six uh, seventy-five, dollars something like that. And I'll go ahead and scan it real quick here. This is a, this is a new game that um, is uh, being sold right now, like all over the place, I see it. Uh, let's see, rank is 11000 so rank's 11000 Again, what did I say? It cost me six dollars and something cents. And I'll go to new and used. First, FBA is about twenty-five bucks. So four times what I got for it. And again, that was just going to the um, the section of the store where they have the the board games and stuff. And I found that. So anyway, if you're looking for personal development stuff, I recommend going to thrift stores. Um, another thing is that I just want to show that you can still make money out there at thrift stores. I go to them and I don't go hardcore. These are like 
literally, like, I was, if I was in that store 15 minutes, I'd be surprised. It's more, my daughter's out looking for her stuff, and I just kind of search around the store just a little bit, do a quick walk around, look at the places that I know are going to find stuff. And one of the ways that I learned about doing thrifting also is through Deborah Conrad's book, uh, Thrifting for Profit. Still a great book. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, you can go to dollarmoves.com forward slash thrift. That's dollarmoves.com forward slash thrift. And she's got like a map on how to go around the, the thrift store. And there's all kinds of stuff. You can learn more about it there. There's a link below the video. And I talk about that video. Um, or I have a video on that page. And then I have a link to purchase the product if you want to. Another one, one to, um, when it comes to thrift stores, I recommend going to the stores that are for um, like different... Uh, let me think here, like Lions Club is one of them that we that I've gone to, Lions Club Thrift. Um, another one, this was for an animal shelter thing, and I found this toy, brand new, $6. It's Toy Story, it's a Magic 8-Ball, it's a talking Magic 8-Ball. You know there's an old saying out on the range, it's always like, nope. Yeah, you know that old saying? And so, anyway, 6 bucks. but it was actually, this was actually discounted to, I think it went down to $4. But let me, uh... Let me scan it real quick here. I don't have my scan fob out. Usually I rock the scan fob, but now this one's kind of weird. The rank is 514,000, but it's because it's so like Toy Story. It's like, I believe the original Toy Story. So um, I was selling these all day long before when I got them. Now again, this cost me like a few bucks, like three or four bucks. So the rank is ridiculous, but there's only one person out there selling them. And you're not going to be able to find these out there. So that person's um, uh, merchant fulfilled for 47 bucks. So for my like $4 purchase, even if I lose my 4 I'm not going to lose my 4 bucks. I will get, I'm probably going to put it out there $59.99, $69.99 and, and see what I get. It's brand new. The batteries work. Everything's good. It's in a condition that can be given for a gift. Now this last one is super cool. I had, um, I had a, uh, garage sale with my daughter this uh, this last summer a few weeks back and we were getting rid of a lot of stuff like any of the returns that I had for FBA and then just stuff around the house you know and so we went and we took in our um, we took in our clothes any basically anything left over from our garage sale that we couldn't take to the like shelter for the free for the for the poor folks that they just give the clothes and stuff to like all the extra leftover stuff for the garage sale went to um, went to a local thrift store. And so we went, turned it in, and we got a 20% off uh, coupon from there. And so because we were in the garage sale kind of mode, I, I think when you're looking for or you're dealing with certain things, it's kind of like that deal where when you buy a certain car, you start seeing that car everywhere. I think because I was doing the garage sale, I think I kind of zoned in on this thing. And I find that a lot when I'm thrifting, like things that I'm interested in or whatever at that time, I'll see it like when I'm out buying. But anyway, so let me get this real quick. Just one second here. This is a digital coin sort. So about $17 is what this was. This is in Office Products. Now this is probably, probably used like new. I mean, it's got the box. Everything's inside, and there is a Merchant Fulfilled right now. It's rank 101, uh, 101,000 in office products, but the rank here, or what it's selling for, it used like new, is 110. And then new are starting at 116. So with my $17 purchase, I mean, I'll, I'll sell it for, you know, 110, somewhere there, maybe, maybe more, because there's no FBA on this. So I got this thing home and I checked it out. It's super cool because this one, like on the front, you see these these stacks of, of uh, coins. There's like a tray of them. As it fills up and it, it puts the quarters or pennies or whatever in the in the um, holder, it pushes it forward when it's full. So there's like four of those. So there's like four different quarter ones. So you just dump the money and it just keeps rolling them. Boom, boom, boom. So um, anyway, I get it home. And I had all this change from the garage sale and stuff, and I wanted to try it out. I open it up. Guess what I find inside? It was like three to five dollars worth of change was already in it. So my seventeen bucks came down to you know, like fourteen or less for that thing. So super cool. My main takeaway from this is that there is still money to be made out there. You can still start this FBA thing on a shoestring budget and find stuff like I just showed you where, you know, you'll better than double your money on it. Um, 
and you can do it easily and quickly. Like I was doing this stuff. Now I definitely have an eye for it now because I know kind of what to look for or whatever, but it's still out there. You guys can get out there and start this FBA business on a shoestring budget basically. So I wanted to let you know that's still going on. And if you're looking for personal development stuff and you're looking for things while you're building your FBA business and you want to just keep feeding your brain and you know there's a ton of people that are putting out their business books out there they're putting out their motivational stuff like like all the stuff that you pay big money for people are getting rid of because they don't put value in it people want the solution but they don't want to work for it and they're giving it away to the uh, thrift store so you can go find that stuff there too but if you guys are looking to uh, learn more about thrifting and want to find like deals like this where you don't really have to work that hard to get it, you can go to dollarmoves.com forward slash thrift. That's T-H-R-I-F-T. That's dollarmoves.com forward slash thrift. And that will take you to my page about um, Deborah Conrad's Thrifting for Profit Guide, the Amazon way. And you can go ahead and click the link down below the video there and it will take you over to the page and you can read all about it and see if it's right for you. But again, I don't think, um, if I remember right, I actually don't remember what she's charging for it, but you will, like you saw here, like you can make it up in a one or two purchases. So one or two wins and, you know, you don't have to beat your head against a wall. You can learn from, from her knowledge on how to get out there and, you know, do the thrifting and do it successfully. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had to make it because I got to get this stuff up there and processed, but um, anyway, that's why, that's why I needed to make it today. So, you know, get out there, do some thrifting. Even if you don't buy a course, it's a great way to get out there and start a business on a shoestring budget. It's still available. It's still out there. There's more opportunity than you've got money for. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and thumbs up. Positive comments down below. Um, you can go ahead and click, I think it's here to subscribe. And uh, also go over to dollarmoves.com, sign up for the email newsletter. I'll contact you anytime I put out any new videos. And also anytime uh, something that comes up that I think that you might find value in or that could help you out in your business or life. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.